So consider you got your first paper accepted, you're invited to a conference, and you need to give a talk and present in front of a large audience, ship your ideas and explain what you have done. This can be actually very scary. And with this five minute video, I wanna give you some tools in hand on how you can design a good conference presentation, a good conference talk. So what makes a good talk a good talk? So what you wanna do is you wanna kind of shine on stage and make sure that everyone sees the great idea that you had has led to a substantial outcome and is something which is cool, novel, solve the problem which was unsolved so far. This is kind of what you wanna achieve in your presentation. And um, this can be a very scary activity to do, especially if you do that for the first time. You know, you go there at an unknown place, typically in a large city, you're standing on a stage, which can be pretty huge. There can be 100, 200, 500 um, people sitting in the audience, all experts from the fields, and you need to ship your idea, and they can ask tough questions to you afterwards, and you're standing there in, the, in, the, in front of the audience and are potentially unable to answer those questions. Something which can be very, very scary. So I wanna give you some tools at hand that you can give a convincing presentation. Um, there are a lot of things I've said before on how to give a good presentation, all of those things holds, and I wanna look here explicitly into conference presentations. So what's special in conference presentations? First of all, typically they are short. You have something in my field between five and 20 minutes to ship your idea. Most of the time it may be around 10, 12 minutes or so. So that's not much time to present something you have been working on for half a year or a year maybe. So good talks should stimulate interest of the audience, get your key messages across and lead to some form of action like reading your paper, citing your paper. So especially for those really short presentations of five minutes, you should see this as an advertisement for your paper, right? You wanna, you have a five minute time slot to convince people why it is a good idea to read your paper. But now, what's special for conference talks? So for conference talks, you have typically an audience kind of open to what you're saying. The problem, however, is that um, a lot of conference talks are actually not that great. And people listen to the first 30 seconds, first minute, and they say, ah, not that interesting. I'm getting out my, um, my phone and do some email. And you want to avoid that. So you want to start really well and give them a good why and tell them why they should listen. So my supervisor, Wolfram Burger, told me about my first presentation when I was giving them for a conference. Um, you have to ask yourself, why do I want to buy the technique that this person is presenting? So buying in the sense of, am I willing to pay for that? And you need to present the stuff in a way that other people are willing to pay for this, for this solution, at least kind of mentally pay for it, because they are paying for that with their time, so to say. So by asking yourself the question, how can I present the stuff in a way that people want to buy it and know really early on what's in there for them, is a key thing for a good conference presentation. So what will the idea, the technique enable them to do? Don't explain that to them at the end after your experimental presentation. Um, really do this in the beginning, really early on. The second thing which is important in conference talks, especially the short ones, is you don't have enough time to present your whole paper. So you have to reduce it to the core. Keep it simple. If you just have five minutes, there's no way you can present your paper. Even within 20 minutes, it can be hard. So within 20 minutes, of course, you can go more into the technical details and explain precisely what you have been doing in a certain aspect, but still, it's typically not sufficient, not sufficient the amount of time to really present the paper in details. So you have to reduce stuff. And you should want to do this, you want to simplify the idea, focus on the stuff which is cool, which is novel, where you made your contribution, and keep it easy to understand. Although there are people from your field, and typically you are in a session which has already a certain name, always tell them why they are there, what is cool about it, and make sure they understand that this is something interesting. As soon as you lost the person, you will never get them back. You also want to emphasize credibility of your presentation. So why is the thing you did a good idea? And that's something we typically do through experiments through comparisons with baseline approaches or presenting really cool results that your cool AI algorithm can produce, you kind of put credibility into that. And as a last point, what you want to do is you want, as I said in the beginning, make people use your work, cite your work, read your paper, things like this. So make this as easy as possible for them. Share your code, make it very explicit what you're sharing, that you can very easily download the paper. It's just one command that you need to run, you can reproduce my results. 
this makes it very easy, lowers the bar for people to actually try out your stuff. Once they tried it and are convinced, they will cite you over and over again, use your work, and that's a win for you. Last but not least, you need to end your presentation well. It must be clear for people when you're done. So stick with the time that you have and then summarize your key contribution. What is novel? How did you push the state of the art forward? What was the key ingredient? And this should be written on one single slide with a small number of words. Summarize your key contribution. This should be on your last slide. And with this, I hope you're able to give convincing conference presentations.